Hey guys, Kenny from Kegland, and today we're talking about a new temperature controller, very similar to the existing one on the website, but with one extra feature, which it handles more amps. So you'll notice that our standard temp controller here, it's got a 10 amp socket. So this basically goes into a normal 10 amp wall outlet in Australia. And because it's restricted by 10 amps here, we also have to restrict the outlets on the back to 10 amp as well. So, you know, one of our customers on our Kegland homebrew community group requested us to make a 15 amp model, which was obviously not that difficult for us to do. So we have now upgraded it. So let's take a look at the difference and I'll show you how it works. So of course, because this is a 15 amp device, we have to make the cables a lot thicker and most importantly, we have to make the earth bigger as well. So in Australia, 15 amp uh, devices have basically this bigger earth. So if you try to get a normal 10 amp outlet like this, you know, power board for instance, try to stick that in there, it will not fit. Now, some of you guys might get tempted to grind the earth down, but please don't do that. It makes the product non-compliant. Um, so you will have to speak to your electrician. It's pretty easy to change it over. Most modern Australian houses will have sufficient wiring in the wall to handle 15 amp. So please check with your electrician. But generally speaking, it's just a matter of whipping the power uh, you know, outlet off and then just putting on the 15 amp outlet. And then that way this will just plug straight in. Now, because this uh, is, uh, you know, they've got, got the larger earth here, it also the outlets that so make sense for us to to also make sure that the outlets are 15 amp rated. So obviously, you know, 15 amp plugs can go in here, enabling you to, you know, plug in devices like, you know, uh, heating devices, which use a lot of energy, particularly heating water. This is typically when we're using a huge amount of power. So if you've got a hot liquor tank, which uh, you're putting one of our big elements in, uh, for instance, we've got this big 15 amp element, which is a triclover one that fits into our, um, you know, uh, our, our uh, kegmenters and stuff like that. You can buy that one. Or we've got even things like a big digi boil, for instance, uh, you know, if you wanted to sort of, uh, you know, get some internet connectivity to something like that, so you can control the digi boil or something like that via the internet, that would be another reason to use this. Distillation is another big one, and that's the reason why one of our customers on the Homebrew Community Group requested this to be made, because obviously distillation is heating up a large volume of water, driving off a lot of steam, and that uses a huge amount of energy. So, you know, another big application. Now, with the temp control box, it still has all the benefits of the other wrapped, um, you know, 10 amp temp controller box. So uh, it connects to the internet. If you download the app on your phone, you get push notifications which is really cool and it also acts like a Bluetooth bridge for Bluetooth devices as well so you know as you would know with the pill um, you know let's say you're gonna build like this into a chamber so you're making a fermentation chamber you've got like let's say a fridge plugged in here which you got your ferment sitting inside the fridge and then you've got maybe a heating belt plugged in here you know it can be used in that way as well and get the pill Bluetooth data so you can put your bill into pill into Bluetooth mode which has two advantages it's a lower battery consumption or lower power consumption and also you get better signal strength if you've got a stainless steel fermenter. Um, you know, enabling the signal to get out rather than using Wi-Fi. So, you know, when you put your pill into Bluetooth, you can basically give out that signal picked up by the wrap temp control box, and then the wrap temp control box connects to your Wi-Fi network and relays that up to the uh, the internet. So, therefore, acting like a Bluetooth bridge. Similarly, you can also use things like the uh, wrapped uh, Bluetooth temperature thermometer as well, of course. Um, so, let's say you're in distillation, for instance, and you're controlling the boiler. So, you've got basically this... Uh, this uh, temperature probe down in the boiler and you, you're monitoring that temperature and trying to control that boiler temperature. Um, but then at the same time, what you can also do is get a second, second probe like this, get the Bluetooth probe, put this into the top of the still head and then this will give you a still head temperature and this and both will be displayed on the screen of the temp controller and that data will be overlaid basically uh, on the graph. So then you can monitor those graphs with your mobile phone or so forth. Makes it really, really handy for distillation to have multiple temperature inputs. As you know, we can pair up to eight devices, actual Bluetooth devices with these wrapped Bluetooth bridging uh, devices. So you could even have, you know, for instance, temp controllers inside your you know, your, your, uh, your, your coolant water or something like that to make sure the coolant water temperature is not getting too high and stuff like that. But, you know, some of the awesome functions uh, that are available here now uh, on these uh, on the wrap platform devices make this product such a great product, especially at the price point. Similar price to you know even like the Inkbird temp controllers, which have nowhere near as many uh, as much functionality. So uh, you know I think it's a really great and powerful uh, temperature control box. 
Anyway, that's it. Hope you all enjoy using the 15 amp wrap temperature control box. It's an unbelievably powerful device and I'm sure you guys will love using it, especially for any of you in distillation or heating up large bodies of water. Um, if there's anything else you want us to make, obviously join our homebrew community group and just request it. You know, we're constantly listening to uh, what you guys want as homebrewers and getting out there and manufacturing it for you. So, you know, if you want something really cool, another accessory, another Bluetooth device to pair with this, uh, please let us know. Uh, and definitely join that Facebook homebrew community group. The other thing is subscribe to this video. It really helps us, doesn't cost you anything. Bottom right hand corner, hit subscribe now. And that way you'll be updated on whenever we bring out other cool new bits of gear. All right, thanks for that and see you guys next time. Bye.